Hi everyone, welcome to Pi AI Botics. In this video, we will understand how you can connect your Tello drone with the Tello app and use that app to fly around your drone. Let's open the app. Once you open up the app, you can see there are instructions of how to connect the drone. So once I click on connect Tello, uh, it will try to detect the Tello Wi-Fi. As you can see, we are now detecting the Tello Wi-Fi. Let's click on it and connect to the mobile app. Now it is connected. Let's go back to the app. Now you can see we are able to view the feed from the drone camera. As I'm moving the drone in different direction, you can see we're getting the live feed. So let's quickly go through all the controls which are there in the app. Let's start with the one on the left on the top side. This is the arrow sign icon with the arrow sign pointing upwards. Once you click on it, it is basically a takeoff control. If you slide the slider all the way to the right, it will the drone will take off. Then uh, there is an icon of Tello drone. These are different flight modes. If you select after taking off, if you select any of these flight modes, the drone will do perform those flight modes automatically. You don't have to do anything. You just need to select and go ahead with it. Then drone will automatically perform that specific function. For example, if you select C360, as it says, they record a short video while spinning 360 in place. So the drone will basically rotate around its own axis and record the video. Simultaneously, there are circle. It will move in a circle direction. Then there is 8D flip, which basically makes the drone do a different flips in different direction. And that depends on uh, there is that once you select this option, there will be a small window pop up where you can actually slide in any direction and whichever direction you slide in the drone will do a flip in this in that direction then there's a bounce mode the drone will move up and down continuously throw and go is one of the takeoff option where you can uh, instead of doing a takeoff using that control option which you get in the app you can uh, throw the drone in air after selecting this menu option drone will take off after that up and away is like a shoot mode where you once you select this menu option your drone will start moving up and away from you and it will create kind of a very uh, interesting and visually pleasing cinematic shoot shot let's go back uh, then there is setting option in setting option there are multiple modes if you go to vr mode uh, a, suppose if you have a vr goggle you can select this mode put a uh, phone inside your VR headset and you can view the Tello drone camera feed from the in the VR and the stereo mode Then uh, again go back to the setting the Bluetooth controller setting are given suppose if you don't want to use the Tello app controllers you can uh, Buy your own controller you can use any of the gaming console controllers like PS4 or uh, probably uh, Xbox and con connect it with the app and you can control your drone using the bluetooth controller then there is different the the wi-fi settings the name of the wi-fi and the password if you want to set a password in more there are many other things like measurement system photo quality you can go to normal or high low battery warning you can change it if you want stick mode is mode one mode two it basically uh, you know can change the controllers uh, from left to right uh, you can change it if you want then altitude bitrate let's i will suggest not don't uh, change these controls much if you're not very well versed or very well aware of it then there is a calibrate mode you can do the calibration process there are certain steps you have to remove the propellers and uh, follow the process by changing the um, orientation of the drone i'm not going into it you can try if you want uh, then there is a firmware make sure to update the firmware uh, once I click on the update uh, Latest firmware is there. I've already updated the firmware. You can do it on your own. Then there is app version and uh, Nothing much here uh, Center of gravity calibration you can do if you want 
uh, going back to the controls now there is this mode suppose if you have shot any video or photo you can view the recorded videos and photos from this menu option this is basically um, uh, changing of the mode if i'm clicking on it now as you can see i can see the camera icon in here so if i click here i'm capturing the image and uh, now if we go back to the uh, you know this uh, we have just captured an image and uh, suppose if i'll again click on this icon you can see there is a video camera icon now if i record it it is recording from the tele camera now let's go back again and check out the video so you can see uh, we have the uh, we've recorded the video we can view it from uh, the play icon and this is the uh, button for either capturing the image or recording the video and uh, yeah these are the menu option then there is a battery battery indicator wi-fi bluetooth and there are other settings like what is the speed uh, of the drone and few other settings so let's look at the controllers now uh, the controller on the right side is for moving the drone on the right side or the left side or moving it forward or backward so this controller is for flying the drone in four different directions which is left right forward and backward and the controller on the left side is used for rotating the drone in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction or uh, moving the drone up or down So this was a quick instruction about how you can use the app, connect the drone and uh, fly around the drone using the app. So yeah, that's it for this video. In the next upcoming video, so we'll set up the PyCharm environment, download the required libraries which we will be using for uh, controlling or programming the drone. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe the channel for getting updates of our upcoming videos.